Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our Trimoran build. Now, as of this video, the other video, the one where I built this, hasn't actually gone out. So I'm assuming there's some comments saying, that's not a Trimoran, that is literally just a boat. And at this point, you'd actually be correct, because I haven't actually built uh, the other two holes, one on that side and one on that side. I haven't actually built them yet, and you'd be correct. So today, what I think we're going to do is actually build those. But first, I need to show you guys something that I've changed. Okay, so looking at this side, you can see that it has bulged out on this side a little bit like this. And if you look at this side, I have uh, countered that and essentially made that not happen. Now, I don't know whether to keep it like this or to keep it like this. I'm not sure which one is actually for the best um, for the build. But, what I think I'm going to do is try and keep it as simple as possible and go with this side because, yeah, it's a little bit more simple, everything's a little bit more streamlined, I just think it's a little bit cooler. Now, I would like to say I wish I could have extended this to be a little bit longer, but the longest pieces we have is 1x4, so, yeah, that's pretty much as long as it can be. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with changing that side to look like this. So there we go, I've gone ahead and done it, and honestly, I do think that looks a little bit better. It just looks a little bit more streamlined, and that is pretty much exactly what we wanted. So, let's go ahead and spawn this in, have a little look at that. And I also want to have a little look at some other things as well. So, obviously we built this in last time as well. Um, I would like to actually use this space for certain things. I want to put another door on going that way. Uh, we've obviously got this door going this way. And I need to actually add a floor in there as well. We also then probably need a way to get downstairs, down to this floor. But we won't be working on the interior just yet. Okay, so now it's time to actually build the bits on the side. Now it is worth mentioning, obviously we are in the normal workbench and I can't actually build off to the side because we'll hit the edges. So we're going to go ahead and take this to a modified workbench and build it there. Alright, so here we are, we are in the modified workbench. Let's go ahead and start building this onto the side. So what I'm going to do to begin with is actually delete this big long line right here. I'm going to replace this side with this right there. And I'm also going to go to this end and maybe actually do the exact same thing. From there, we're going to go ahead and build this in, which might be a little bit insane, but sure. We're then going to build this out. I don't know how many blocks. Let's go with like 10. There you go. That's probably enough. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. And we're also just going to add these guys as well. So that one's going to go there. Uh, I don't know whether I want to do this side like this or not, uh, but I am thinking probably. I'm not actually sure though. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to do it on both the front and the back, and I think that'll look okay. From there, we're going to go and extend this out like so. We're going to do the same thing at the back. There we go. And then we need to start working on it actually going downwards. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I don't know how to make it... Actually, how is this going to work? I don't know how this is going to work, because what I want to do is actually do something like this. There we go, where we send that down maybe twice. And then obviously we'd send these guys across. Here we go. Do, 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 do. And do, 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 do. there we go. That seems okay. Uh, and then obviously we'd have to do these guys as well. So this isn't something that I really accounted for, but it is something that I think we're able to do. I then need to do the same thing here as well. So do that. There we go. Okay. Doesn't look terrible. So we'll continue. Alright, so from there, what I wanted to do was actually grab this guy. I'm going to go down twice with this. I'm then going to go ahead and send this all the way across as well. Because we are going to need to do this anyway, so we might as well do it now. From there, we're going to go ahead and drop it by about three of these. There we go. And we can go ahead and do this across here. Fan dabby dozy. Do this guy as well. And do this guy as well. There we go. Now, from here, we obviously need to change things up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and grab this guy and send it down like so. From there, all we need to do is grab one of these guys and send that down as well. There we go. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice so far anyway. So now we need to do the same thing on this side. We need to make it look nice on the underside and go from there. All right, so there we go. Uh, it might look a little bit weird to begin with, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and try and figure out what we actually need from the rest of it. So I'm thinking we do something like this, but actually send it all the way across to the back end like that. We're then going to do it from the back end to the front, just like so. We're then going to do the same thing with these guys. 
And as you guys can see, it is actually going to end up hollow, which is pretty nice, actually. It's a very nice way of doing this. So send that all the way across to there, Fandabby Dozy. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this guy, send that across the inside like so, all the way to there, and that is it. Nice. Okay. It might look a little bit weird, but I think that's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, it turns out I've actually pasted it in the wrong place when I've repasted it. That's a yikes. Okay, so we're going to have to copy and paste it again. So let's go ahead and copy this. Press U. Take it over to the other side. Here we go. And we need to overlap it by one, I think. Yeah, by one. And that will make it one singular bit in the center, which is exactly what we want. So merge those two together now. That is fantastic. And yeah, that's working the way we need it to. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually figure out what height this guy is actually at. And, oh, that's weird. Okay, I'm not sure I want it at this height, to be honest. But let's go ahead and try it anyway. So we're going to go ahead and paint all of this in. We're going to send it all the way around there. There we go. Uh, and this does mean that the thing that we're actually... Like this third hull, or second and third hull, um, is actually going to be mostly underwater. There's not going to be much of it. Uh, above the water, which I don't know whether I feel like that's a good idea or a bad idea, but we're gonna go ahead and paste that in there There we go. Good. Let's go ahead and spawn this in and see what we think and there it is So I'm not sure how I feel about this just yet But I think it will look better once we add the additional floats uh, And then what I might also do is actually extend the main hull to be a little bit longer At least in this flat area right here in the center that should make it look a little bit nicer but if it's a yacht I don't know if that's too big. Nah, it'll probably be fine. So yeah, we'll extend it, we'll make it a little bit longer. We'll then uh, add the floaties to these, and hopefully that'll look good. Okie dokie, the extension is happening! So let's go backwards like three, and then another three. One, two, three. There we go, and then maybe another one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, and then maybe a little bit more than that as well. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go back to there, paste this in. There we go. Let's go ahead and merge this guy with this guy. And what we'll also do is copy this from here all the way down to the bottom, I suppose. There we go. Go all the way across to this side. Copy it or cut it or whatever. Here we go. Move it forwards and paste it there. There we go. We're then going to move this bit backwards a little bit, paste it here, continue it again, and there we go. That is that is it. That's what I want to add. Does that look weird? Does that look strange? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's grab this guy and put this on here like this. There we go. We're then going to go ahead and send this guy, like so. And I'm actually just going to add a little bit of a window there. Although, actually, maybe I'm just going to fill this in. Yeah, no, I'm going to fill it in. There we go. That might look a little bit strange, but I think I kind of like it. Okay, guys, it is now time to actually add the pontoons and stuff like that to the outside. So, the middle of the pontoon is actually going to be on the bit on the outside, which is going to be this piece right here, uh, and that is where it's going to start. So, let's grab it in this color, and we'll attach it onto there. We'll send it all the way across. It is going to be a little bit longer than the actual these guys, so that'll be good. Let's go ahead and extend that backwards a little bit, and we'll also extend it forwards a little bit too. I don't know how far, but let's go with, like, 20 blocks. Is that good? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's about right. Maybe a little bit more. Let's go 20... Let's go 30 blocks. There we go. 30 blocks instead, forwards, and a little bit backwards too. Okay. Maybe not this much either. Bam. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly make some pontoons for these, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, so here we have uh, our 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 thing, <laughs> our thing, our trimaran with the actual floaties added. Now I'm thinking this looks kind of ugly, and I'm thinking the reason is because these guys actually look kind of ugly, and because these guys are below the waterline, and they have to be red because they're below the waterline. So I'm thinking we bring these guys inwards a little bit, uh, maybe cut it in half, this flat piece. Uh, and we also actually try and raise these up a little bit, just so that we have a little bit of white on there as well. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Is that a good idea? Possibly. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and do it. 
All right, so this is it with the moved inwards a little bit. And honestly, I do think that looks a little bit better. So we might go with that. Uh, from there, obviously, I did say that I wanted to raise them up a little bit. So let's try and figure out how to do that. I think what we'll end up doing is deleting one of these rows uh, right here. And also maybe deleting one of these rows as well, just so that we can actually raise it up by about two, which should give us enough room to actually make a little bit of white and also have the waterline um, somewhere on here, I guess. Alright, so now that I've raised it up by two, we can actually go ahead and paint a waterline around here about this height, which is a nice little height for a waterline, I suppose. Uh, and then we can send it all the way down to the other side, and this allows us to have nicer looking floats. And honestly, nicer looking floats is more important than you'd actually think. I expect, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and grab this color, go ahead and do this, 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 there we go, all the way around there. Very nice indeedy, go ahead and do this, and this, and this, and there we go. Honestly, I do think that is looking much nicer, so let's go ahead and spawn this in, and have a little look at that. Yeah, I, honestly, I do think that looks way better than it did, so I'm happy with it. Okie dokie, so the next thing that I want to do is grab some weight blocks, here we go, these guys right here, grab them in pink, that is fine. Uh, and essentially I'm going to put it in the floor from there all the way backwards to like, I don't know, there. We're then going to do another set right here, just so that we actually weigh it down a little bit. Now, our waterline is around here. So if our weight is actually below that, it should actually sink down, and I guess... I guess it will go below the waterline, but like, yeah, look at that. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. It went below the waterline, as expected. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and delete this until the pink marker for the center of mass uh, essentially gets up to the point of of that line. I don't know whether it's going to, but yeah. Going to delete this whole level. There we go. It's a lot higher, but not as high as we need it to be. Let's go ahead and delete this. Delete this. And delete this. Okay, let's see what that does. Let's have a little look at that. Here we go. Boom. Okay, I mean, the front is out of the water and the back is in the water, but it's not terrible. So, what do we think about it now that it is actually lowered into the water? Yeah, I think that looks good. Maybe. I'm not sure. Alright, so, before we actually continue with that, I want to do something really random that maybe I shouldn't be doing right now, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and put this guy right here. One, two, three, good. Get ourselves a pivot, yes. Okay, a robotic pivot, go ahead and shove that directly into there like so. From there, we're going to do this. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab this color, maybe not that color. Let's just go ahead and grab a random color for now. And we're going to send it really far forwards, like so. From there, we're going to go ahead and do something like... Oh, I don't know. Like this, I guess. So let's go ahead and do that going backwards. And then... We need to do the opposite. Going this way. Oh, yeah. Kind of like that, I guess. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and attach that guy onto there, like so. And then I want to send this backwards as well. So let's do this. Here we go. Kind of an interesting thing going on here. I'm sure it'll be fine. So delete this guy and attach this guy onto there like so. Excellent. Go ahead and grab this guy from here all the way down to there. Copy it. Yes. Move it across until about there. Paste it again. Move it across until about here. Paste it again and delete the extra ones because we don't need them. So merge this with this. Merge this with this. There we go. And I guess actually delete that one as well. Okay, so if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to get a really nice looking like thing going on here that is going to go on the side of the ship. Now, this isn't really the time for this, but I really wanted to, so I'm going to. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this one from the front, there we go. Send it all the way backwards to there, go ahead and copy this, move it backwards to here, paste it in, merge this with this. And we'll see what this ends up looking like. Whether it works, whether it doesn't work, I'm not sure. But we'll see. So now all I need to do is grab all of these guys from this side. Here we go. All the way to there. Copy this. Press U. Take it to the other side. Here we go. And paste it there. Merge these guys. This one with this one. Get ourselves a throttle lever so we can see where this actually ends up going. 
and see what happens. So attach that to there, attach it to there, give this guy a minus number, no, I didn't mean to do that, uh, a minus number, just so we can figure it out, and then go. Okay, it's time to see whether this works. All right, here we go, send it. Okay, I don't know. I don't really know how far we should be sending this in, but let's have a little look at this and see what it looks like. Okay, I mean, it's there, the thought process is there, but uh, obviously that doesn't look right. But it does sort of work, interesting. Okay, some minor modifications later. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Here we go. Bosh that onto there. Let's go ahead and go into camera mode and have a little look. Okay, so it looks a little bit odd. Does look a little bit odd. But what if it was the same color as everything else? Maybe then it wouldn't look so weird. So, go to this, change the color. Go ahead and make it not white, but this color. And then paste it again. And let's see what this does. Here we go. Do 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 do. There we go. Okay, it clearly slaps into it quite hard, but that's fine. And there we go. I mean, it might look a little bit weird, but do we like it? I think I do. I'm not sure. Do I like that? I don't know. But the other thing that we can also do is go on top of this, like so, and do something like this, going all the way backwards to even there. There we go. We can then attach this guy onto the top of there like this. And that's nice. Okay, good. And then I want to go ahead and send this guy backwards pretty much to the start of this. I know that might seem a bit weird, but yeah. Anyway, we can go to this side and we can figure it out. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and grab this guy from here all the way over to here. Go ahead and copy it. Yes. Move it backwards to, I think about there we'll have to do. So paste that, merge this guy with this guy. There we go. We're then going to have to go to the other side and do the same thing. Bring it over, press U, paste it in, and merge these guys together as well. There we go. Okay, so save this, or sp no, not save, just spawn it in. And let's see what this looks like, whether it looks better or worse. I don't know. I think it just adds a little bit of detail to the front that we otherwise wouldn't actually have. I think I like it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do we like this? Do we not like this? I, I actually don't know. The other thing that we could totally do as well is actually add some uh, thingies to this. So if I deleted that guy right there, and I put in a block like this, there we go. We can then go across to about this guy, go across to this guy. Essentially, I'm skipping one every time. There we go. I should have probably worked this out beforehand because now we need to do this. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some railings and attach those on. Because this might look good. It might look good. Right, here we go. Grab it in this color. Go and attach that onto there. Every one of these, we're going to go and do this. In fact, I might do it on every single one of them instead of skipping one because I think it'll look better. But yeah, let's do that. And then we're going to go ahead and grab an end. Go ahead and put that there. And we're going to have to grab these and continue it through. So one there, one here, one here, and one is already at the end. Okay, cool. Grab this guy. Shove it on there like this. So that on there like that, that on there like that. We need to do another one right there, just like this. And then we attach them all together using this, I think. Is this going to work? I'm sure it is. There we go, going all the way forwards to the front end like this. Okay, let's spawn that in and see what that looks like. I know it's like adding extra detail when we don't really need it right now, but um, I think it'd be cool. So let's do this. Bush. Nice. And then we've got railings all the way across the front of the ship. And I think that looks sick. <laughs> I actually really like that. Nice. Okay, one last thing that I want to do to that then is so out the front end a tiny bit. So I'm actually going to delete all of those guys. We're going to grab it in this color and we're going to do this. Okay. All right, that might look a bit weird to begin with, but it's fine. Let's do that guy right there. Do this guy right here. Attach this guy onto there like this. Actually, no. No, do that, and this, and that might look better? I don't know. Sure. The other thing that might look good as well, maybe, possibly, I don't know, uh, is actually painting some of this at the front to look uh, a different color. So let's do all of that right there, like so. Good. We'll only do it on the first three or so, and then maybe it'll look good. It could also look terrible, but, you know, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Spawn it in, let's do it, and hopefully it'll look good. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Bosh! Smack that together, awesome sauce. And yeah, I think we'll keep that. I think. I don't know. 
Should we keep that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we've got the railings across the front end. I actually don't mind those. I think they look okay. It would be nice to add more railings to attach them together at the very front, but I don't know how hard that's going to be to do. In fact, how many more would we have to add in order for it to work? Let's delete that guy right there. Do something like this. And then grab this. And then I don't know how many it is, but let's say like that many. And then what we'll do is add this guy to here like this. Uh, I don't know whether we need to go up one, but sure, we'll do it. Grab one of those guys. Those guys. Shove that on there like that. Spawn it in. Let's see if this actually attaches together. Or whether it's too long. Or whatever. I don't know. Here we go. Bosh! Oh, it's too high. It's slightly too high, but pretty much the right length. Interesting. Very interesting. So, uh, let's lower this guy down. Put that there. And what we'll do is we'll delete this guy, and we'll add... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Reeling is... Uh, we'll add a diagonal one. Yeah, we'll add a diagonal piece. I don't know which one, though. Where is it? That's an end. This one. Okay, so if I go to here, and I do this, that might look sick. It also might look terrible, but we'll see. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're on board the boat. Do this. Fantastic. And it has pretty much attached together right there at the front. Amazeballs. So anyway, we've added the pontoons on the side, which is exactly what I wanted to do. We've added the railings on the side at the front, which isn't something that I was going to do today, but we have done. Uh, and I don't think it looks too bad. So, there you go. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, what I'm going to do real quick just before we finish is delete this guy. We're going to get ourselves a number, and that number is going to be minus one. Grab the constant number, put it in the front, make it minus one. There we go, and attach this to everything, and it should automatically close it at the beginning of the, the, the spawn. Here we go. Bosh. Nice. Okay, that's sick. That is actually really cool. Okay, so uh, I've decided that I wanted to change the front pontoons slightly, like really very much slightly. Uh, let's go ahead and try and figure this out. So delete that. There we go. Grab this one right here. And what I need to do or what I want to do is use these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do something like this. There we go. It's just going to make it a little bit more pointy, but also a little bit more rounded. I know that doesn't make much sense in terms of pointy and rounded, but what I mean by that is it's going to be more pointy in terms of... No, what am I saying? Pointy. I don't know where the pointy is coming from, but it is more rounded, so that's nice. <laughs> anyway, oh no, and more pointy because it's going to one instead of three. That's where I was coming from. Okay, even I sometimes do not know what I'm talking about, and you know what? That's fine. It's fine. All right, attach that to there, attach that to there. Shove this guy in the center. Now we just need to attach all of these guys together. And that is the last thing we need to do today. Grab that color. Awesome. Shove this on here like this. Oh, this is going to make things back there a little bit annoying. Um, but it's okay. Do that as well. Delete this guy. There we go. Delete this guy and this guy and this guy. And all we need to do from there is actually grab uh, this one. Okay, do that up to there. Do the same thing on this side. If we can, up to there. And then just attach all that together and make it look pretty and stuff, and that'll be fine. So do this up to here. Delete that one. Do this guy on the end, up to there. And honestly, I think that makes the pontoon a little bit nicer to look at. Maybe. Okay, so just to recap of what we've done today, we've added the railings, we've added these random things on the sides, which I think look pretty cool. We've also added the side wing thingamabobby, whatever that's called, and we've added the pontoons onto the side as well. We added weight on the inside to lower it down a little bit. We do need to modify that and make it change a little bit, but that's okay. And we've also extended the hole so it is a little bit longer, which honestly I think fits it a lot more. But anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.